Known for her beauty and exceptional acting skills, Halle Berry lives a fairy tale life on the big screen. She has starred in blockbusters like X Men and Boomerang, and even won an Oscar for her role in Monsters Ball. While her career has been hot, her love life has been full of turmoil. Halle has been linked to some of the most desirable leading men in the world. However, most of these romances have fizzled out in a very public way. Here's the truth about her messy dating history. Halle was born on August 14, 1966, to a Caucasian mother and an African-American father. Her parents divorced when she was four, only to reunite when she turned 10. Her mother thought their reconciliation would be best for the family. Instead, it only brought chaos to their household. In an Instagram post for Father's Day 2019, Hallie shared she didn't have much of a relationship with her dad due to his alcohol addiction. She was estranged from him up until he passed away in 2003. While speaking with the actor's studio, she opened up about feeling hopeless as she watched her dad punish her sister. She said, I felt helpless and like a coward because I didn't do anything and couldn't do anything. Her dad allegedly got physical with her mom as well. And Hallie admitted what she witnessed early on in life had an effect on her adult years. It took her many years to make sense of everything, to be able to recover and to find her self-esteem. In hopes of becoming a successful actress, she moved to New York City in 1989. When she wasn't working, she was getting involved in back-to-back -back messy relationships. During an appearance at the Mayor's Fund Benefit, she confessed that she devalued herself and always thought she wasn't worth true love. Subconsciously, she would always choose partners who mimicked her father. In 1989, she met a dentist named John Ronan. According to The Mirror, they only dated for a couple of years before going their separate ways. Hallie then entered into a few more relationships, including brief romances with New Kids on the Block member Danny Wood and her Jungle Fever co-star Wesley Snipes. Though there aren't a lot of details about her relationship with Wesley, rumors have persisted about their time together. Years later, Hallie admitted that she had been in a romance that left her with partial deafness in one ear. Many accused Wesley of being the man behind her injury. Next came the rumor she was dating her Boomerang co-star, Eddie Murphy, followed by a romance with R&B singer Christopher Williams. Their relationship was put back into the spotlight when Hallie started to speak out about the injury she suffered to her ear. Those who didn't accuse Wesley Snipes blamed Christopher, and Christopher wasn't having it. He told the Electronic Urban Report, Wesley Snipes busted her eardrum, not me. After about a year and a half together, she and Christopher were over. In February 1992, she was watching the MTV Celebrity Baseball game when she spotted Atlanta Braves outfielder David Justice. According to People Magazine, Hallie was giving an interview with a reporter from David's hometown of Cincinnati when the reporter mentioned that David was a fan and wanted a photo. Hallie reportedly sent back her phone number instead. Their first phone conversation lasted four hours. Six months later, they were lying in bed when Hallie popped the question. On New Year's Day 1993, they got married at David's Atlanta home. They settled into their new life together, and David would always tell Hallie, I thank God every day for giving you to me. They set up households in Los Angeles and Atlanta. In 1993, Hallie landed a role in the Flintstones. That same year, her past came back to haunt her. Her ex-boyfriend John Ronan, the dentist, filed for bankruptcy. In an attempt to get some extra cash, he came after his now-famous ex-girlfriend, Hallie. According to The Mirror, John said he gave Hallie a loan of $80,000 during their relationship. And in order to get his money back, he took her to court. Hallie argued that the money was a gift. The court agreed with her. And when they discovered that John didn't list Hallie as a debtor in his bankruptcy filing, the case against her was dismissed. Hallie's husband David gave her support during this stressful period, but their marriage was slowly falling apart. They were spending a lot of time away from each other due to their respective careers. Nonetheless, she told the Arsenio Hall show she was David's biggest fan. David had other thoughts about their union. 
He told People Magazine that after a year and a half of marriage, their bad days outnumbered the good ones. He said, she wasn't the same person I was with before we got married. According to David, Hallie would get angry whenever he watched ESPN, and every time she allegedly saw a picture of him with another woman near him, she accused him of cheating. David added, she carried a lot of baggage from her previous relationships. She was always suspicious. The couple split in 1996, and things took a turn for the worse. According to People magazine, during their divorce proceedings, David wanted Hallie to tell the truth about her relationships with Wesley Snipes and Eddie Murphy. Hallie, in turn, accused David of trying to intimidate her. After David attempted to collect his belongings from their Hollywood Hills home without Hallie's consent, she filed an order of protection, which required him to stay 500 yards away from her at all times. Following the end of their marriage, Hallie told Parade Magazine that her sense of worth was so low she tried to take her own life. The only thing that stopped her was the thought of her mom finding her body. She didn't stay single for long. After her divorce from David was finalized in 1997, she started dating actor Shamar Moore. He told BET he fell hard for the actress. He added, she was the first woman to really knock my socks off. While she was still dating Shamar, Hallie met singer Eric Benet after a 1997 concert at the House of Blues. She told People Magazine there weren't any sparks at first, but they exchanged email addresses. She and Shamar broke up, and Hallie began swapping emails with Eric for more than a year. It was at this time that Hallie told People, I turned to him and said, you know what, I think I love you. About three years later, Hallie and Eric got engaged at the Cleveland premiere of the film Introducing Dorothy Dandridge. They were married in January 2001, and Hallie even adopted Eric's daughter, India. When she won the Oscar award in 2002, she gave a special shout out to her husband, but the good times didn't last long. 10 days after the award show, Star Magazine published an article that Eric was having an affair with a woman from his past. Hallie told Oprah Winfrey that Eric admitted it was true. From there, Eric revealed to her he had engaged in multiple affairs and agreed to go to treatment for intimacy addiction. Eric later told People Magazine he had never had a physical affair with anyone while he was with Hallie. He said he only went to treatment because he thought it would save their marriage. He added, I went and heard other people's stories and realized this is really not my struggle. Hallie announced their separation in 2003, and their divorce was finalized in 2005. Hallie was back on the market, and in November 2006, she met model Gabriel Aubrey at a Versace photo shoot. Things were going great between them. Hallie became pregnant and gave birth to their daughter Nala in 2008. Their relationship ended in 2010 and both went their separate ways. However, their custody fight made headlines. There were explosive allegations, including Hallie accusing Gabriel of calling her inappropriate names. Things went downhill from there and rolled right into her next relationship with Olivier Martinez. She and Olivier met in 2010 while working on the movie Dark Tide. They got engaged in January 2012. She made plans to take Nala to live in Olivier's hometown in France, but a judge denied her request. On Thanksgiving Day 2012, Hallie's tranquil world exploded when Olivier and her ex Gabriel got into a physical altercation outside her Los Angeles home. According to E! Online, Gabriel was treated at a local hospital and was subsequently arrested for physically attacking Olivier. Hallie announced her second pregnancy in April 2013, and she and Olivier got married in France in July of that same year. She delivered their baby boy in October. Then, two years later, Hallie filed for divorce. Olivier followed up the next day with his own filing, both citing irreconcilable differences. A source later told People magazine that Olivier's temper, plus the fact they were stuck in Los Angeles and unable to move back to France, caused tension in the marriage. After three divorces, Hallie has taken time to reflect. According to HuffPost, she spoke at the 2017 City Summit, indicating that she occasionally feels responsible for her breakups. However, she still has an optimistic outlook. 
She stated, those relationships provided me with lessons that got me to where I am right now. In 2017, she was linked to British music producer Alex DeKid. There's also rumors she's hooking up with her trainer, Peter Lee Thomas, but that rumor has yet to be confirmed. Regardless of her relationship status, we wish Hallie all the best and hope she truly finds that fairy tale ending. Let us know your thoughts on Halle Berry's dating history, and thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.